as per the Board of Directors provisions in the Central Bank Act death of a member of the board of directors before expiry of the contract is cautioned by the appointment from the minister to serve for the remaining period. For the Central Bank's governor position, appointment is by the president and the tenure is meant to run until 2026. In February this year, a one had Junison Tally petitioned the Attorney General Chiriwachwanka to remind the President to appoint a substantive governor of the Central Bank. As per the legislators, a maximum of six months provided for is way overdue. Uh, an act of not appointing the new bank, uh, the, gov the new governor of the Bank of Uganda is an act of omission and is contrary to the law of Uganda as stipulates the six month, which has now numbered to two years beyond. So I think the president uh, lacks advice on this. If not, he doesn't get heed to, to the pieces of advice given to him. And this same tendency, I think, explains the high inflation rate into the country uh, because the regulators of the policies within the Bank of Uganda, they are not there. Therefore, uh, the banks are operating on speculations, on one man's interest. When somebody is acting, it is normally six months. So this is well beyond six months, which, is, uh, which, which would cause a lot of questions. So I think His Excellency should consider this and ensure that he appoints the, board, uh, the bank governor of Uganda, governor bank of Uganda, at the earliest time possible. So that at least people, uh, the fears of people, the, 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 the citizens are laid, so that at least systems are operationalized. Legislative concerns point to the fact that the top position hasn't officially been filled despite the deputy governors taking on a pivotal governor's role. This position has, however, been heightened by economic instability as inflation, a weakening shilling and limited foreign reserves, pound more pressure with extra lessons borrowed from Kenya's position. A national bank is a banker to all other banks. So where a national bank has no governor, then the entire administration of the banking system in the country is uh, more or less collapsing. Uh, can it move in a zigzag form? Now these instances when they happen to our key trade partners like Kenya, it has a lot of volumes to speak to us. Uh, because if the Kenyan shilling loses value, then it means it's going to affect some of the Ugandan exporters. And Kenya is our big trading partner. But also you begin to say, where is the situation for Uganda itself? Are we having sufficient reserves or are we going to find ourselves in the same space? So a lot of macroeconomics is also going to be very, very critical for what is happening at the lower level. Leaders acknowledge the fact that the president has to be extremely careful while choosing a person for the governor's position. However, they as well point out the fact that Uganda has potential economists fit for the job, bringing into question Michael Atingi's ego anchorship despite the deputy status. This is a position which the country is based on its fiscal policies and very sensitive position. But we pray that the president really realizes the need. They do competence profiling, they do search, head count, and ensure that at least they put somebody in the place. Otherwise, uh, of course, uh, they are based on the fact that uh, within an organization there are people. But I think the limits are that uh, when somebody is acting, it is normally six months. So this is well beyond six months. Actually, there has been no urgency eh? because the law provides for the Deputy Governor Bank of Uganda to take over as, bank, as governor in the absence of the Governor Bank of Uganda. And therefore, there has been no vacuum. The only vacuum that has been there, probably uh, to be a little bit theoretical, is that the, the deputy governor has been acting as the governor bank of Uganda, and there has been no deputy governor. Uh, no, the, the president is just working at his own wish, uh, because the deputy governor is there, and even the other officers who are credible uh, within the country are still there, because the banker does not only operate with uh, the governor and the deputy but also there are other technical persons who are there. But maybe the president is still looking for the political head of the bank, whom we want to call a bank of governor, and the loyalty of the political head is difficult to define. 
On Thursday last week, Parliament's Appointment Committee, chaired by the Deputy Speaker Thomas Tayewa, vetted Mrs. Josephine Okwi Okwakwal Osia after reappointment to the Board of Directors of the Central Bank, raising extra speculation on the top position. Samlanifa, Smart24 TV, Business Today.